It is Siren, the Conjurer and the Creatrix at Siren Serenity. And today I'm here to talk to you guys about some self-love rituals. And I'm going to be doing some candle magic. And I'm also going to be making a self-love jar in this video. So let's get into it. Recently I shared on Instagram and Facebook that I was taking a break and unplugging from Instagram and Facebook. I just need a break and I just want this time to really connect with my spirituality and my spirit team and within my for myself connect with myself so my goal is at least two weeks I would but I would really like to do a 30-day cleanse but during this time I plan on doing like some major self-development a lot of work in self-love and I want to connect with my ancestors just really deeply and on a whole different level and I have a lot of things planned that I plan on sharing on on my YouTube channel but yeah so today is um, September 17th it is the Virgo new moon um, it is a Thursday so I what my plan is is to I want to have like a huge big self-love self-worth ritual tomorrow tomorrow's Friday Friday is the day of Venus it's of love and fertility and feminine energy so tomorrow it will still be in that new moon energy but it'll also be Friday and um, it'll be really powerful for self-love okay so I wanted to do this the day before and then really add my rituals to it tomorrow so what we are going to do is we are going to be making a self-love jar I have this jar here and um, I actually have these jars for my um, my euphoria bath soaks in my shop and I just had an extra one so I figured I will just use this um, and then I have a lot of different herbs and um, correspondences to add within the jar. And what this is going to do, um, it's going to have this energy of this self-love. And that's what I, my intentions for it is, is self-love and self-worth and confidence. And um, I have all of these herbs and candles and these corresponding energies. So let's get into what I have here and what I'm going to be adding to the jar. I actually made a um, herb drip candle for this. So if you, if you do your jar with candle magic, um, you do not have to do a herb drip candle. Um, you can just anoint it with some oil if you want and I do have a video all about um, anointing candles so and candle magic so I will link that below um, if you would like me to do a video about herb dripped candles wax drip candles let me know I will definitely do that but yeah so I made this specifically for my ritual tomorrow and what my plan is is for the next four Fridays to make a candle like this I have um, you know more candles I have red and pink um, and for the next four Fridays I will be melting a candle over my jar and I'll be working with this energy for the next four Fridays okay so yeah let's get into what all I have right here okay so first I have all of the herbs that I'm gonna be using um, I'm gonna be using lavender um, pink Himalayan sea salt and that is great for um, cleansing any type of negative energy and just keeping things cleansed and um, full of positive energy I have the um, rose quartz that I'm going to be placing in there I have the rose petal I have rosemary um, you can also add jasmine or catnip I'm actually out of jasmine right now but um, I do have catnip I just didn't want my cat to go crazy right now um, and I also have some baby's breath to add okay so those are all great herbs to use um, 
that correspond with the energy of love and self-love. I also will be adding honey, local honey from Bush Boy Be Bush Boys Beehives. Um, I will be adding my love goddess oil and my hot girl oil. Love goddess is all about um, self-love, radiating self-love, attracting self-love. It's all about goddess energy and hot girl is all about that sexual feminine, divine feminine energy. And I really want both of those. So what I did was I, um, I anointed and dressed my candle with all of these herbs and the oils and then i will be adding all of these to the jar so once this jar once we put everything within this jar we are going to also write a petition to put within this jar and that is just going to be what you want this jar to do for you what work do you want all of these corresponding oils and herbs and energies and the fire magic what are you trying to attract into your life so today we are working on self-love so you can say you know anything really i pref i'm i want you to come up with your own um petition your own what you want to say on your own because i think that that is way more powerful than you know just being told you know what to put down there but you know really meditate on it and write down um what it is that you want, you know, to manifest into your life. So for me, I am, you know, I'm really seeking to get in touch with my divine feminine. I want to um, attract more confidence in myself. I want to attract, you know, more self-worth when it comes to, you know, that feminine part of me. Okay, so I, that's what I would do. I would write down everything that I wanted. And then later on, we will add that to our self-love so jar. The purpose of doing type of bottle spells or jars or anything like that, when you have, you know, this, this rose petal that, you know, attracts and is all about love and you have all of these, these energies that are about love when they're in this jar and they were sitting in there with your petition and, you know, with your rose quartz and, you know, oh, I, do have cinnamon too I love cinnamon and with the cinnamon you know all all of these energies you know are just building and so strong in there then when you are you know using those energies to attract that you know correspondence that love that self-love and then you um, light a candle over it and you know speak it into existence it it's such a powerful powerful way to do magic to do a spell and to manifest so next we are going to start adding all of our ingredients into the jar so like i said i like to work love magic or anything like that on a friday um but you work your ma magic when you feel called to i think it's i think that your intent and your will is more powerful than any type of color correspondence or any type of day correspondence or anything like that. Like, you know, if it's a Tuesday and you feel called to, you know, wake up and do some self-love work, girl, do that work. That's when, you know, your energy is heightened for it. Okay. So there's days of the week for any, you know, type of work, but Friday, if you want to do like your um, bath rituals and your goddess energy, love, uh, fertility, things like that, Fridays are a great day for that. Okay. So f before you start with any of, you know, your herbs or anything like that, you know, you want to make sure you cleanse your candles. You want to make sure, you know, you can use a selenite wand and just run over and, you know, say a little prayer over your herbs and over your candles and your oils and enchant them. You want to give your herbs and your candles and your oils and all of, you know, your ingredients for your spell jar. You want to give it all a purpose. And I talk about this in my candle magic video. But you want to give it, it's going to do work in your life, but you need to tell it what it needs to do and what you want it to do. Okay. So I've already done that. I've already prayed over everything. I've already cleansed over everything um, to save some time. So I'm going to start adding to my spell jar. Okay. So as you add to your spell jar, um, you can, you know, 
name what you want each individual item to do for you. Um, first, I'm going to be adding this beautiful rose quartz from my shop and it is cleansed and charged and ready to go. Okay, so first I'm gonna add that and rose quartz is all about, you know, that energy of love and, um, you know, drawing in that love and keeping that love close to you and that love energy, beauty energy. So I'm gonna add that first. Um, I do have a piece of cinnamon and I love cinnamon. Um, cinnamon is so, you know, well used throughout magic, but I love cinnamon for love. Um, and I love cinnamon because it brings things in fast, okay? So next I'm going to be adding some lavender. Okay, so I have just lavender buds and I have the actual um, full flower, but lavender is just such a good love, that sweet, soft, sensual side of love. And that's why I want to add it into my jar. Just the calm and at ease and just um, that feminine energy. So I added some, some of the flowers. I'm going to actually just pour in some of the buds in there. Okay. I want this to be pretty full. So see, and I have my rose quartz and my cinnamon and my lavender in there so far. And then next I'm going to put in some pink Himalayan salt. And I mentioned earlier that that is great for um, cleansing energies and transmuting and just keeping things fresh and cleansed and um, protected. So I'm gonna add quite a bit of pink Himalayan salt. I love me some pink Himalayan salt. See, and that looks really pretty in there. Okay. So next we are going to do beautiful, beautiful rose buds and rose petals. And I love rose. Rose is, you know, all about love and beauty and attracting love and beauty. But you know what? Rose is also really great for um, working with like psychic energy. And it's also really great for protection because if you think about it a rose the stem has um you know the um what are they called thorns <laughs> the ro roses have the thorns on it and it just it, it's like that that keeps them you know protected so there i have the rose in there with all of it and it's looking really really pretty and next i'm going to take this beautiful baby's breath um baby's breath to me is just so beautiful and it just has such a feminine touch and a love touch and i literally if you order from me you know that i add baby's breath to every order um i oh i just love baby's breath so much so i'm going to add some some of that right in there I'm going to add some more because I love it so much. And all of this, these, each one of these flowers and these herbs, they all hold and carry, you know, the energy of love and feminine energy. So when they, you know, get together and they work, they make a, they work together and they combine and they, they transmute their energy, which attracts, you know, love and femininity and, confidence and self-love and beauty and goddess energy so yeah i'm gonna add a little bit more baby's breath in there and it's looking really pretty i love it okay so next i'm going to be adding some honey you can add sugar you can add any type of, if you want to do like a honey substitute, anything that's sweet, you could use like some agave syrup or something. I don't have any sugar. Um, all I have is honey. So that is what I'm going to be using. And this really just sweetens it up. And, you know, it just adds that sweetness and that sweet touch to your jar. Okay. So I'm going to be doing that. I really try to use, um, local honey all the time i just think that one you're helping out a local business and two you know it's 
I think it's fresher and better. So there's that honey in there. It looks really good. It smells really good. It's about to smell even better because I'm about to add some Love Goddess oil from my shop. Um, this is my Love Goddess Enchantment Oil, and this is all about self-love and goddess energy. And this is my one of my OG oils, one of the first oils that were ever added to my shop. And she is still a top seller. So, yeah, and she smells so good. This is still one of my favorites. But, yeah, so I'm just going to pour this oil in there. And as I do this, I'm going to... In my head just think exactly what I want this oil to do and bring me and what I want it to you know work in this jar what I want it to do mmm smells so good all right so next I originally was only gonna use one oil but I was like I need to get that hot girl oil in there too a hot girl she is all about um, this is my own personal oil I normally don't have labels on all my oils for myself but this is hot girl she is all about that Megan the Stallion vibes. That's why, you know, I wanted to make an oil that was just like confident as fuck and just like radiating this like dark goddess energy, this sexuality and divine feminine energy. And this oil embodies that energy and I love it so much. This is a one of the top sellers in my shop too. And Oh, so good. She smells so good. So yeah, we are adding some of that confident, that sexy, um, divine feminine energy to this, um, this self-love jar because I'm trying to have all that, that sexual energy, that confidence. So yeah, it looks really, really pretty. It smells really, really, really good. Okay. Oh, I love it. Okay, so then what we would do next is we would be meditating on this. We could, um, if we want, we could close the jar for, you know, unt until we're done. But next we would meditate on this and really um, sit down with a pen and paper and, um, you know, really write out a detailed petition. If you want detailed, I always say the more detailed the better and you would sit down and you would you know write out exactly what you want this spell and this jar to bring you okay so i'm not going to do that because i'm going to do my ritual and all of that tomorrow on um, friday and so yeah we have a beautiful love jar self-love jar and you can do a, a jar magic or any a jar spell for anything um i actually just did a couple weeks ago a money jar ritual where i did all of the same things except i added herbs and oils and crystals that all resonate um and correspond with the energy of money okay so after whenever you do this um, so tomorrow after I do my petition and I add it into this I'm going to want to seal my jar okay so when you seal the jar you are going to be doing some candle magic I will be adding my herb drip candle that turned out so beautiful and I will be um, burning it on top of my self-love jar okay so when um it burns actually what i'll do is i'll pour a little bit of hot wax on top of this and then stick um this candle on there so i don't have to worry about it falling over but um and then you know i will meditate with this as it burns when i light it i will sit there and I meditate um, while it burns for a little bit and then I will probably do a um, goddess ritual or self-love ritual type bath as this burns and then um, I will you know just let it burn all the way down and as it burns wax is going to be dripping down and it will drip and it'll um, you know drip over the sides and then that will that seals this spell that seals all of that energy within there um, so that, you know, and once it's finished burning completely and then it's ready and it will start working. Okay. So, and then, like I said earlier, every Friday I will be burning a new, um, 
anointed and dressed candle over this for four weeks okay so also what i like to do with a jar um, spell a money jar or a self-love jar i like to um, like if I'm, you know, thinking about it or if I feel like I need to, you know, amp up the energy, I will, of course, burn another candle on it and keep feeding it and working with it. But sometimes I walk past my money jar and I just like I just shake it and I just say my intentions and it just I, for me, I feel like it just mixes up that energy. It gets it going again and it just gives it that kick to really, you know, put out that energy again. OK, so. I, I'll just shake it three or four times and then, you know, I will say my affirmations to it or, you know, speak, you know, a, a certain line out of my petition as I shake it. And it's kind of like it just, you know, reignites that energy of it and, you know, pushes it out there and shakes it up so it can, you know, go out there and, and attract what it needs to. Okay. So yeah, that is a spell jar or ritual or a self-love jar ritual. Okay, like I said, I will be adding to this tomorrow night. I will be um, doing a meditation with it um, and sit down in front of it and just meditate on the flame and meditate on, um, you know, what I'm looking to manifest with my self-love jar. And then after that, um, I will leave it on my altar, but then I will go and I'm going to take a nice goddess bath and just really amp up and put myself in that goddess energy i'm going to be taking these next few weeks to really focus on my practice and my spirituality and myself so i plan on you know sharing as much as i can as much as my guides will allow me to what i do and what i learned through these next few weeks and i'm really excited to share you know what i can with you and you know just share my journey furthermore so i hope you guys loved this video and i hope you guys have fun making your own self-love jars you guys all have a beautiful beautiful new moon and a beautiful weekend bless be mm -hmm.